And there's our good old friend Vlad. You know, I wonder if he's going to stick around or if perhaps there's going to be another one. Because this is the time of the year when crocodiles start mating. Normally July to September. They go up looking for a partner to start mating with. And then the females are going to lay their eggs. If Vlad is a he or a she. It would be quite hard to tell. They don't have any... And we would have to pretty much turn it around and I don't think Vlad would be too happy for that. I'm definitely not going to try. I mean, look at those very powerful legs, that very thick and powerful tail, and those massive teeth. And there was one of the Facebook Lives that went on today from our partners all the way up in the Mara. And I think it was actually one of the unmanned cameras on the river crossings. And it was this incredible footage of these very big crocodiles, the same species and I now crocodiles all the way in all the way in the Maasai Mara, just taking advantage of all the creatures that are starting to cross the rivers now. So it is quite amazing how at the same time of the year the same species in different areas can be, can have such a different approach of life. Hello, little one. <laughs> now, you see the mom is pretty much standing there halfway out, so I s I'm pretty sure this youngster, it's either standing on its back legs or trying to come onto the shore where it's a bit more shallow. So I'm really hoping they're going to start carry on moving in this direction so that we can have a view of them outside of the water. That would be quite nice. Tiny little hippo is so cute, isn't it? Oh, I thought I saw something, but I think I'm just seeing things all the way at the back. Come, guys. Slowly but surely, I think that little one is starting to gain some confidence. Perhaps they're coming to share the island with the crocodile. <gasps> Look at that. I think that was a yawn. <laughs> Nothing really to be concerned about. And there is a t tiny little one. So you see hippos, they also make some formidable mothers. Very protective of their youngsters, of their little calves. And it's because of those big teeth that they have got that not too many creatures actually dare to mess with them. Hmm, such a cute little hippo. Alright, so I don't know if you can get to it. But on that dead tree behind the hippos, mm, yeah. there's a giant kingfisher up there as well, which I haven't seen here before. So it's another species to add to the Chito Dam list for me. There we go, the giant kingfisher. Beautiful. And like we saw, I think it was yesterday, we saw a brown hooded kingfisher yesterday morning. This is one of the other species of kingfisher that stays around this area and they don't really migrate and leave us for the winter months. They are here all year long. So maybe the last one that we've got to see now at Chittadam is a ma uh, Malachite Kingfisher. Because we've seen now the Pied, the King, and the Brown Hooded Kingfisher roughly around this area. Which is very exciting. Now what is that other little thing jumping around there? I think it's a bit too far for us to tell even with our very powerful cameras. Some things are just out of reach. So I don't think we're going to be able to do any birding from here to there. <laughs>